And it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I am zoomed all the way out for a reason. I think I am prepared. I have glasses on my face. I have part of an edge catcher that I hope is big enough to cover the bottom part of the canvas that I'm going to be working on, which is a huge 30 by 24 inch. I have a dustpan to put my green colors in because I want to do the largest gardenscape I've ever done, and that's for the foliage. I wanted to show you guys that I saved my colors earlier and as you can see the moisture built up on the inside of the little containers so the colors did work out as far as me being able to save them and I'm hoping they'll continue to be saved until I'm ready to use them for my flowers. So I'm just going to put these away behind me and show you I have all kinds of lengths of chain cut and I'm going to use that shortly-ish. This is my dustpan. This is my collection of green colors. I am going to use it. <laughs> uh, that's not green. Okay then. I am going to put a little bit of uh, my favorite turquoise from Folk Art in there. It's a color shift along with everything else. I'm going to try and make these fairly dramatic. Make sure I shake them. And if they're not open, I'll just move on to the next color. I like to have a little bit of purple. And where did I put it? There it is. I like all kinds of purple in my foliage, actually. And I'm going to use some of my Folk Art Green Gold, which I love. And a little bit of turquoise. Metallic. I'm still uh, judiciously allowing my mysterious if my art minds that is no longer being made to become part of my process in spite of the fact that it's so dear my Prussian blue seems to have clogged itself up so oh I got a little I got a little air out I'll just throw that in there I've got a nice light green I don't use very often I'm just gonna put a bunch of that in there if I squeeze it down in, it's see the cells popping? Hopefully you can see the cells popping. They're kind of far away from me right now, I realized. But uh, any force, any agitation on the paint is going to make it sell up. I think I want some, some contrast between that. Yes, and that big lump of paint should go away. Between that and my minty green color shift. And I'm getting pretty close to something I think I can interesting enough to use and I don't know how much more paint than I that I need than that I guess I could always go back because it seems a lot like I may need to go back tomorrow anyway and add the flowers we'll see how much time I have and if I can even reach to get to them I'm trying to decide if I really I'm not much of a neon girl but when I see other people do it I like it a lot so um, makes me think twice about doing it. My inclination is to try and put a whole bunch more green in there just because it doesn't seem to be very green. And I want light colors because it's going to be a black canvas. So I'm going to move those back to where they came in case I might happen to want them and that way they're out of my way. I didn't use any of that. That I really like. That is a forest green color with some metallic in it. Here goes nothing. I gotta go all the way over here to get this canvas that I primed myself. Let's get the dust off. There is a stretcher bar. Let's get that far away. There is a stretcher bar in the middle of the back of this. I kind of need a damp rag, even though it's not very damp. There's still pollen in Florida, even in as we get to December 1st, which we're pretty close. That's tomorrow. So I haven't done this sideways, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to even see what I do, but I'm thinking that I should grab a shovel. Shovel. And I'm really, maybe just start out with the dustpan. Why not? Oh boy, here goes nothing. That would be why not. <laughs> Looks like I might have gotten enough color. 
I am going to use, as long as I can get to it, my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. I'm going to put that, just empty that dustpan right out. I may want some of that color for the edges, so I'll just leave the residual. Actually, I've got some of that color in that other little dish. Let's just use it all. And I'll look right now and see if there's anything I want to add to that to make it more green. Because if I leave this dustpan out, it's going to get schmutzy. Now the first thing that I like to do a lot of times is run a skewer up and down because that will, in, that will potentially lead the paint where I might want it to go. Having never done a canvas this size, I'm feeling a little brazen. Um, I am going to have to grab that edge catcher that I just put my spatula on, schmutzed it right up. And that is not nearly long enough. Okay, I have a much bigger edge catcher. Rather than get all the paint all around, I'm going to grab a hold of that stretcher bar that's right in the middle of the back of this. I'm going to press that. I'm going to let all of my paint roll. And then, hopefully, we have enough to come right down to the bottom and pull and rock it and send it back again. And I'm really inclined to let it pool and try and roll it down a little bit. I know. <laughs> I just hit the camera. Yep, I did it. So I'm still tipping and I don't know if you can see anything. But I am going to take that edge catcher away. Grab a Princeton, excuse me, grab an OXO omelet turning spatula. This was the plastic coated corrugated filler for a puzzle um, container I found, you know, like at the Goodwill or something at some point in time. So I'm just going to let all of those colors on my spatula go down right over the edge and cover it because this is a good time while the paint is really liquidous to take advantage of the fact that it's still going to be creating patterns. And I'm going to take that edge catcher out of the way and hopefully I won't need that again. I'm going to just drag some of my foliage colors up and down. Using my spatula. I don't really want to uh, to damage what I've got so far. So I think I'm going to go ahead, give myself permission while I have the time. And I'm going to try that with a double with a double loop. I'm going to go down. That did not work. So I'm wondering if maybe I can add some more paint into my mix. Or maybe necessity being the mother of invention, somehow I will <laughs> somehow I will figure this out. Let's go for the green gold. Where are you green gold? There you go. Let's just see if I can fill. I don't even know. It's pretty warm out here today to be taking this kind of chance. But I'm thinking that the green gold is the answer. I hope so anyway. So I'm just putting that chain in, trying not to make excess drag marks that don't belong on the dry canvas because they're really I didn't want to go overboard on the paint and have too much. I think next time I would try for more, but there isn't a next time right now, and I need to do this right now. So I'm going to use the chain at the bottom and figure I can just make some leaf shapes, drag them sideways. And 
and hoping I can work my way across. I probably should have started on the other side, huh? I don't give up easily. We know that about me. Whatever I need to cover over there, I'll do later. I'm really glad my paint is in squeeze bottles right at this exact moment. I think my biggest problem is going to be trying to make a cohesive pattern. So I'm just going to give myself some green gold. All the way across. And hope that I get a build up of paint on my chain. I also kind of want to keep some black negative space, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. And I don't want to destroy all my cool patterns. And I know smaller chain wouldn't steal as much paint. This is a large ball chain that I found left over in the trash on the side of the road <laughs> when somebody was cleaning out a house. I really want to use the small stuff, but since I've got the large one in my hand right now and it's time to be on this side of the canvas, I think that's the way it's going to go. I kind of want to add some purple at the bottom also. And I think that's a great idea. And I'm not sure if I want one or both colors. And that one kind of looks a little bit like it's going to disappear, so let's try the darker color. I think I could probably also use some lighter green in here for a highlight. Not sure this is my finest hour, but I'm not complaining it too much either because I'm not done. I just need it to be spread out as much as I can get it for now before I even try and add flowers. And I guess it's a good thing that the foliage hasn't gone up that high because that means there'll be room for the flowers and room for stems. I gotta try it again. I just don't know if I have enough paint. I don't want to go any further than that. I am going to grab some of that other color and give it a try right there because I can the name of my book on the Amazon link I love that turquoise in there I'm not sure if it's not a mixture of them got some cute little cells happening with that paler green color I'm hoping that the paint is going to be wet enough so that when I get to the point that I want to um, use the smaller chain that I can. I'm trying to pay attention to my composition. I'm doing okay on one side. I set my timer and I've got two minutes left before I have to set it again and tell you that I have two minutes left. I'm going to grab a little paint from here. Maybe, just maybe, on the break I can... Uh, figure out how to get the flowers in here as well. Ah, I found my forest green and I like the idea of, oh that's more turquoise than anything. That's not what I thought it was. It's a little tight on space.
I'm trying to learn how to pick the chain up so I don't get as much drag mark. I could probably use the spatula. And I do have a little dish of color and I can always dip into it, steal a little paint. Obviously I shouldn't worry as much as I am just basically because I'm going to be adding stuff tomorrow. Chances are good. I need to try this. Find out if I'm right about smaller being better. At least for carrying the colors forward. That's okay. I'm not complaining about that too much yet. I know you guys can only see part of this, and I'm sorry about that. I guess I should have saved more paint back in my uh, container, since I basically saved none. I'm liking that some of these shapes, yeah, that was a fast two minutes. Well, I'm really thinking I can do a lot with this, but not basically all of it right now. And that makes sense because it's a really large canvas and there's no reason to waste it by trying to get everything done all at once. So I'll tell you what I need to tell you right now. And I'm going to steal a little bit of paint. Oh, perfect. That was not perfect. So I love you guys. There's almost 85,000 of you. There probably are. There probably is 85,000 of you by the time this airs, but you never know. I could post it early and then it wouldn't be true. So we're, we're closing on 85, which makes me happy. I appreciate you guys commenting every day and keeping my morale up. Really, really helps me out a lot. Stay here bringing you guys videos all the time. I appreciate you sharing the videos tremendously because that helps other people find me off of YouTube. They're helpful, but they're not as helpful as they used to be. We are contemplating memberships, which might include live streaming if I can get some help. So you can give me your opinion on what you think about that if you if you have one. I think I might get the foliage part of this done. I'm not certain, yo, though. I'm not certain, yo. <laughs> yeah. I'm not unhappy with it anymore. It seems like we're going to get the foliage part done now, and I'm I'm pretty happy about that. I'm not going to try and move that, though, while you're here. So you'll see a photograph on the community board of Stage 1 when I post the video. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thank you for joining me, and if you're looking for more videos, check out my channel. You'll find playlists on the created playlists drop down menu you press created playlist again and you'll get um, eight batches of 100 one batch that's working on the next hundred and genres I want to say thank you guys for joining me please shop my my Amazon link at no added cost to you uh, I do love you guys I will see you anon. I will be torching this briefly, probably after you're gone, to get rid of the bubbles in the paint so I don't have any pock marks tomorrow. There's also a really good chance I'm just going to be playing and paint for a few more minutes too. I think I have some fairly decent shapes. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Give me a thumbs up, please. Really appreciate that.